Welcome everybody, I'm Martin Tyler and this is the Etihad Stadium. And today it's Manchester City against Middlesbrough. Manchester City, Alan. Now the season has settled down. The league leaders who we're going to look at today are deservedly there. I think they've showed champions' qualities in many games so far. I'd expect them to do that here as well. Number 24, John Stone. Number 4, Vincent Company. Number 30, Nicholas Otamendi. Well, some people just seem born to play football. Sergio Aguero certainly comes into that category. Two important goals last time out. Really good. Manchester City's lineup today. Claudio Bravo starts in goal. Vincent Company starts alongside Nicolas Otamendi at the back. Okay, Gundogan plays alongside Fernandinho in the middle of the park. In attack, Sergio Aguero starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. And this is the 11 that will take the field for Middlesbrough. Victor Valdez starts in goal. Gaston Ramirez starts, the midfielder in good form. Alvaro Negredo is the lone striker today. I was at Wembley, Allen, in 2015 when Middlesbrough lost the playoff final to Norwich City. But they stuck at it, and a year later, automatic promotion. I think it's been the team ethos that's got them there. No real stars to think of, but uh, that makes them quite a tight, formidable outfit. Mike Dean is the referee today. At last, after all the build-up, the game starts. Ramirez. Downing. The return ball. Gaston Ramirez. Kevin De Bruyne. Good, strong tackle. Keeps it going. And now the shot. Shot blocked here. And now here on the attack is Aguero. The shot's on. The shot gets blocked. Now we have a corner to come via that deflection. <laughs> Manchester City have the ball again. Working hard just to see Maybe a sight of goal. Good to act. And shoots! Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Sergio Aguero. Be a throw. Manchester City are on the attack now. Fernandinho. Well, good through ball. Aguero! It's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Sterling. Sergio Aguero coming forward.
Shots on here. Got in the way. Downing. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Great passage of passing play there. And here's the shot. Goalkeeper hangs on. Now Fernandinho. Kevin De Bruyne. Tackle goes in. That's a great interception. Daniel Ayala Ramirez Strong challenge Possession back with Manchester City now Sergio Aguero Well this attack Oh he's through That's a good block. Fernandinho. He's got his shot off now. The big hitters have hit again. They go in front and with their attacking prowess. No one's surprised here. It's just a matter of who's going to score the goals. You know they are going to score. And they've got so many different ways of breaking down the opposition. It is certainly the kind of match that we thought we were coming here to see with the better team playing the better football. Yeah, and they've handled that expectation, haven't they, in terms of being strong favourites, so fair play to them for that. Opened the scoring 1 0 here. Number 21, David Silva. Well, this is Manchester City's match at the moment, but only at the moment. They're being challenged, they're having to defend quite a bit, and we'll see whether they can see it through. Maybe they'll improve in the second half. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. Manchester City winning at this moment, but still the second half to come. Now Fernandinho. Good to out. Here's Sterling. Looking to get the ball forward here. Manchester City. Defender to it first. Downing. <laughs> Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. They cope with it well defensively. Fernandinho. Here's Sterling. Silva. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. David Silva, such a clever attacking player. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Now Fernandinho. Free kick given by the referee. And the defending team might be in trouble. They might regret conceding this. The referee has shown the player a yellow card. And that player's just got to be careful now. Well, you run the risk when you go to ground like that with a slide tackle of getting into serious trouble. Well, he's dived in. It's a reckless one. Well, there's going to be an alteration now. And with the team trailing, you can understand why he's going to make it.
He is a free kick specialist. And that was, I thought for a moment, going to be one of his special efforts, but not quite. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't the easiest of uh, areas to score from, so it wasn't a bad effort. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Moving forward with some danger. And shoots! He's hit it far too high. He's kept the ball after a good first touch. Could be dangerous. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Well, that's good support play from his teammates. Oh, he's beaten his marker. Towards Negre. Negredo! What a fine save. Corner now for Middlesbrough. Kevin De Bruyne, still 20 minutes to go. We're watching a very evenly contested game here. Neither side being able to dominate the ball. No, I mean, they've both got really good ball players, people that can keep hold of the football, and we have seen that today. Here's Sterling. Fernandinho. Now Fernandinho trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Brana! That's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Strongly, Sergio Aguero. This could be it. Brana! They have scored! And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match, we'll see. Well, their work has made this goal almost inevitable. They're in fine fettle today. Well, they're creating chances for fun out there. And the uh, opposition's really got to tighten up. Widen the margin here to 2 0. Manchester City, number 17. Gibson. Kevin De Bruyne. Times Manchester City have looked really good today, but they just got the seal. Downing! Well, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right place at the right time, just couldn't uh, provide the finishing touch. Ramirez. We've got 
of the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Downing! It is his party piece, that header, but not quite the success rate that he's had recently. Yeah, he's disgusted with himself for missing that, and you can see why. Well, they've got to go for it in these circumstances, haven't they? They're trailing, so uh, an extra potential goal scorer brought on. Well, I think he had to do it, didn't he? He's not going to go down with a whimper. This manager wants to go down with a fight, and this is the right way to go about it. by some distance in the end. We're going to get some more choruses of Blue Moon, I think, from the Manchester City fans to celebrate this win. Oh, they've been good value, haven't they, the fans, Martin? And I think the players down there would have been spurred on by this support. And the added time is four minutes. Four minutes of added time. And Sue, George Friend... Wished it. And it will be a free kick here. <laughs> Manchester City. Get the result here they wanted, they've won. The manager will be very proud of this result and the way they achieved it with the blend of decent defending but really high-quality attacking. Yeah, I mean, it was swashbuckling at times, wasn't it, the way they poured forward and the opposition just couldn't handle them. Kevin De Bruyne was very much in our thoughts at the start of the game, Alan. Now it's the final whistle. How well has he done for you? Good performance from him and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.